Hi guys, today we will learn about overloaded methods in C Sharp. Overloaded methods is an implementation of polymorphism. And what polymorphism means is one interface or one name, but has multiple functionalities. Instead of declaring many methods with different names, just because they have difference in parameter, but they have the same job, now we can create methods with same name and just change their parameter listing. And this is how we can have only one name, but based on the parameters, different versions of that method would be called. For example, in this program, I created more than one display method. I have a display method which accepts a string as a first parameter and a string as a second parameter. So if I pass two strings, then this, this display will be called. Then I have another version of display where the first parameter is an integer and second parameter is a, is a string. So if I pass an integer and a string, then this method will be called. Then I have a third version of display in which I have the integer and double combination. And I have another version of display with more than two parameters and this will be the sequence. Now, one of the things you have to keep in mind that sequence is very important in calling these methods. I do not have any combination with string and int. I have a combination with int and string. So if I reverse this, then things will not gonna work. So let's get started. Right here in the main method, we will going to call the display method and we will pass Sam Green to be the first and the last name. So automatically, this version will be called. And as you can see in Visual Studio, automatically, right above this display, we see one reference. That means now there's one reference available to this method in the program. For the other display, it still says zero. Now let me write another version of display. Display. 101 green now notice the moment i write that this changed from zero to one let's scroll down and let's call the third version of display by calling display now i need to provide an id and a gpa now we're going to call the last version of display which requires three parameters, an ID, a last name, and a GPA. One of the other things that I can do in this environment, I can collapse any of the blocks that I don't need that allows me to concentrate on the two blocks that I really need to see. So I'm not gonna make a call to display, and I'm going to pass the ID followed by the last name, followed by the GPA. So these are th four different calls to the method display. Now let's run this program. As you can see, when I ran the program, because of the first call to display, I could see Sam Green. Also, if you want to increase the size of the font within your console environment, you can simply click on this icon and then you can go to your properties. In the properties, you can choose a font size of your choice and then upon clicking OK, you will notice that it gives you that same stuff in an increased font size. So Sam Green, that comes out as, as, out as an output from the first display call. 101 Green comes out as an output from the second display call. 101 3.76 comes out as an output from the third display call. And 101 3.76 Green comes as an output from the fourth display call. So overloaded functions really truly allow you to have one name with variances in the parameter provided the sequence does match. Now, one of the other misconceptions that I would like to uh, make sure that everybody understand that this is not overloaded, let me create a copy of the display method right here, exact same copy of display method. Notice the second one automatically is underlined in red saying that you can't have two exact copies of the same method. So I'll say, okay, the second one, I want to make it such that it will return something of type string. 
And I'll even even going to write a return statement right here, and I'll just pass out a blank string. Notice the error does not disappear from right below display. Why? Because changing the return type does not create an overloaded method. It's only in the name and the list of the parameters. Thank you for watching the tutorial. Catch you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.